the cathedral in Green Bay. We are the church sent forth to bring hope, healing, mercy, and love to all God's people. Individuals and families continue to return to church every Sunday, yet there are those who for various reasons cannot be present in our parishes at this time. We are here for you. We invite you to pray with us from wherever you are. Good morning and welcome to the TV Sunday Mass. Today is the feast day of the baptism of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we approach these sacred mysteries and as we listen to the word of God and celebrate the Eucharist, let us pause and call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant, we pray, that we may be inwardly transformed through him whom we recognize as outwardly like ourselves, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, a smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all, what has happened over all Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good in healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water. But one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. And he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you, I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my brothers and sisters, today we celebrate this beautiful feast of the baptism of Jesus. And you know, he and John the baptizer were cousins. So they knew one another, but their lives had gone in a little bit different direction in the sense that John the baptizer went out into the desert and joined a community there called the Essenes, most scholars think. He was an ascetic. He was waiting for the Messiah to come. Perhaps he didn't know fully that his cousin might be the one, that his cousin was the one. So this moment in their lives, when they came together and Jesus went to visit John the baptizer, who was baptizing in the Jordan River, very significant. And he was baptizing and calling for a baptism of repentance. In other words, repent of your sins, repent of your evil ways, and turn over a whole new leaf. And Jesus comes upon them. And he walks into the Jordan River himself, and he asks John to be baptized. John is kind of almost aghast because he recognizes Jesus as the Son of God. No, surely no, surely not, Lord. Let you baptize me. I shouldn't be baptizing you. I'm not even worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals, he had said. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, he had said to others, the true Messiah. Here he was baptizing in water, the Messiah. Now, Jesus did not need to have the baptism by water, but he did so in solidarity. And by doing that one action, he made holy all the waters of baptism that would ever be used through the blessing of the church and through his baptism, he has consecrated all water that's blessed for baptism 
to be the same water as the Jordan, filled with repentance of sins and new life and new beginning. He also said about the, the Messiah, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Now that word baptizo mai in, in Greek means to be immersed in. So when we say baptism in the early church, they always immerse people in the rivers, baptize them in that way. And baptism itself means to be immersed in. Jesus himself was immersed. And it's beautiful to see you come up out of that water a new person. Sometimes you read that they were dunked three times and brought up three times, surviving death by water, coming up in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. After all the people had been baptized and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, all of a sudden heaven opened. Something happened in the heavens and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. So the Father had sent the Holy Spirit to come upon him, to empower him, to give him that gift of the Holy Spirit. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Wow. The Father spoke. Everybody understood the voice. What a day of selection for his own son to begin his public ministry. You are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. Hopefully someday we'll, the Lord will say that to us. You are my beloved son. You are my beloved daughter. Come to me. I am pleased with you. Those of you who are very close to going to eternity today and may be watching this Mass, may the Holy Spirit, the healing of Jesus, the peace of Jesus in your heart descend upon you and help you and heal you and give you his peace. To all of you, a blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together now, let us pray the Apostles' Creed. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The universal prayers, with trust in his kindness and generous love, we share these needs and petitions with our Lord, who is eager to hear our prayers. For all members of the church, that they may grow in love and knowledge of God through his grace and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may bless his people in all nations with harmony and goodwill, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are burdened by physical or emotional difficulties may receive, receive God's healing touch and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Lord may always provide us with the grace for contrition and repentance and an aversion to sin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to COVID virus and all its variants, we pray especially for healthcare workers and all those critically ill at this moment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory, you save us by your grace, not by our actions. Answer our prayers, and out of mercy and love, we present them to you through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with <clears throat> your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, 
and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us pause for a moment, and from this holy altar, the holy Eucharist, and from our hearts, let us extend that gift of peace that comes from the Lord, a peace which passes all understanding, a gift beyond all gifts. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in reciting the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless each and every one of you and your families and your parishes, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks for praying with us today. A special thanks goes to the Bergstrom Automotive family and to the Bishops of Peel for supporting this broadcast. May God bless you. Remember, God loves you, the church loves you, and so do I.